Um, so Peter comes up to me and he's like, hey, Cousin Josh, can you come down and help me out with that? And I'm like, man, I'm in the hot tub. Everything's awesome over here. I don't want to, I'm really fine being in here. And he's like, Josh, I really need your help. <laughs> This stag. This was probably the, one of the nicest ex experiences I've ever had, and I've had a lot of good ones, so this is just completely spectacular. Yeah, I mean, the mixture of lamb and ham, how can you go wrong? <laughs> So I think the thing that everything, the, the reason that everybody was going to get angry was because that Peter had been talking about this weekend and about the seafood we were going to get and how fresh everything was going to be. And he was talking about these oysters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What are you cooking? Oysters. Mm -hmm. Did you catch them yourself? Yes, from a, uh, a little, uh, little rocky outcrop. He's such a granola fruit loop. Hello? Hello? So I get out of the hot tub, and I go and I get the towel, and I get dried off or whatever. And then I put my flip flops on. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go get changed. He's like, no, 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 just come out. Come on now, come on now. We gotta go now. We gotta go right now. Like, okay, man, relax. So I get the big bucket, and we go just around the corner, up by Rape Lake. So we go, and then suddenly a van pulls up, and it's Jennifer, and she's in the van. And I'm like, what the fuck is your sister doing here, man? That's, none of this makes any sense. And she gets out, and we give her a hug, and I haven't seen her like forever, of course. She gets out, and she opens the back of the van, and it's just full of oysters. I promise, they were frozen solid. Man, I don't know that this is... And he's like, no, no, it's, it's okay. I was like, well, when we get back there, everyone's gonna know that they're not fresh oysters, man, they're frozen. And he's like, no, no, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. It's very disappointing. He pays the price when you, when you offer fresh, and you... And you bring frozen. <laughs> and you're getting married. <laughs> well, he's from the Yukon. They're, they're, they're different up there, I mean. <laughs> okay, that was uh, so <laughs> um, time. <laughs> Los ostiones estaban de la verga. And like, here are the fresh oysters, boys. Gary had grabbed this one chunk and was like, oh, this will make them fresh. You know how Gary gets his <laughs> Anyway, so he throws the oysters in the hot tub and of course now everyone's jumping around. Everyone's kind of pissed and like, fucking Peter. Yeah, I turned in at about seven or eight at night and kind of fell asleep pretty hard. And I woke up early the next morning before anyone else was up and I was making my coffee and sitting looking out at the uh, the island across the way, and I saw what looked to be, I mean, it's about three kilometers away, but there's a, some, um, looked kind of, like they were running up and down the beach, and, and naked, they weren't wearing clothes. I couldn't, I mean, it's far away, but it, it looked kind of like peat. Oh, it was a bit of an overreaction by Josh, but you gotta know, you gotta know Josh. He's a bit, he's a bit, he's got a bit of a screw loose, for sure. He's, he, he takes things to the next level, for sure. And the whole plan, the whole time, as I'm thinking, is that, well, we've got these oysters, right? So when he gets down there and it's tied up to the tree, we'll just whiff the oyster shells at him and see how close anyone can get to him. Well, that clearly became a bad idea. I don't, be that being said, I don't know why we had to tie him to a tree, but I just go with the flow. It's very disappointing. Yeah. Now he's covered in calamine lotion for all of his mosquito bites. Time. <laughs> kind of enjoying our time away from Pete. It's been a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit of a relief, actually. It's been quite nice. Overall, that's okay. Maybe, maybe I'll tomorrow morning. I'll go. I'll go see if we can untie him.
Hey, I'm Janichi Jeremy Hendrickson. Uh, hey, I'm Kaylee. Uh, hey, I'm Gary. Hi, I'm Josh Skinner, and I'm Peter Skinner's cousin. Hi, I'm Wade. Um, oh, and Miss uh, Fabian. And now for something completely different. Peter, Crystal, are you there? Hi, it's Fred Penny. You're backstage at the Arts Club Theater. We are mere minutes away from the final performance and uh, wanted to take this opportunity to wish you the best in your upcoming nuptials sometime in the not-too-distant future, I hope. It was such a pleasure seeing you and sitting beside you at the Spamalot World. A little bit of Monty Python to get the day started. Yes, yes, say no more, say no more. <laughs> it was good to meet you, you and Crystal. What a pleasure. So uh, once again, a happy, happy wedding day. And I'll, I'll drink this last sip of coffee to your love and long life. Cheers.